This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and this is Central Oregon Living and Homesteading. Today's video is kind of a humdrum of a couple of things. We have to get some hoses out to the uh, compost pile and to the chickens. We got a new little cultivator in and uh, we're trying to test it out. We're kind of taking it to the limit of where it can what it can do but I think it'll work um, with our cultivator we want something small and it can get into tight spaces so everything we looked at is quite beefy and I think she went with a 8 inch spread and most of the more beefier ones are 11 so uh, this video will show you sorry about the wind uh, will show you the struggles we have with it and if it's a cultivator you'd be interested in make sure and go to the description below anyway let's get started so what do you got there ma i have a cultivator uh, brand new by sun joe hey sun joe so uh we did a little bit of homework on this baby we wanted something compact that could handle a small area we got electric lightweight and uh yeah it's kind of cool again so uh you read all the instructions and then i'll use it because somebody's in <laughs> somebody doesn't read directions but somebody else does so. someone's a guy and someone's a girl yeah so what else we got here Let's see two 100 foot and a dog two 100 foot hoses which hopefully will reach all the way out to the chicken pen. And then for the compost pile, we got two bags of used grounds from Starbucks. Yep. Uh, apparently they just give it to you. Yeah. So this should be good for our compost. So we're going to throw one bag in right away and then get some more layers and then throw some more in. And uh, we got all kinds of stuff coming this week. Yeah. Lots of toys. So uh, I guess I better string some hoses. Well, we have been adding to our compost pile, slowly but surely. Getting in the habit of keeping your scraps around and stuff, it's kind of hard. <laughs> Change your mindset. Yeah. So apparently on the bag it says there's some instructions about, I guess on here about making compost, you can actually add... Up to 20% ground coffee to your compost. Yeah, so maybe we'll put both bags in. So go ahead, dear. So what a rip. This has the filter and everything. I think that's okay. Yeah. Alrighty. That's a lot of espressos. Well, that's one. Uh, hopefully the filters are okay in there, but we'll find out, won't we? I'm assuming so. Doesn't seem like much. I know. It sure smells like coffee now. Yeah, I guess that's better than rotten apples and stuff. So, uh, are you going to actually try to stir it? I'm going to chop it. And yeah, yes, we need to add water, but that's what the hoses are for. Okay, so we get the hose out here. Apparently, I didn't need two 100 foot rolls, but something tells me it will come in handy to have. So we didn't open up the other one, so we got to get a nozzle, but it'll make it easier to water the chickens now and to water the compost bin out here. And so uh, <laughs> now I just got this long hose, which will explain why I ordered a trencher. So if we uh, get used to this, we'll actually have a little trencher that does like a two, two inch wide trench, real small, that you can actually hide your hoses. So. Uh, 
we may be utilizing that. My wife has got the pitchforks. We need to be standing up next to each other going ding 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 ding. So we got the hose turned on, we put a nozzle on it. Well, it'll be the first time we have water out here. How cool is that? Kind of windy out, sorry guys, I know. So let's give it a squirt. I like a little cream and sugar with my compost. Yeah, maybe the coffee kind of smells good. I love the smell of coffee. I just hate the taste. So, uh, I guess it'd be, this is the first time we got water back here, so we should start activating the breakdown process. Which is a good thing. And, uh, that's that. Well, it's four o'clock here at the homestead and it's puppy dog feeding time. So both of them are getting their dinners. Uh, Belle gets dry food. We use Gentle Giants. Cinder gets wet food with a little bit of Gentle Giants. And they both get a little salmon uh, that we get from Gentle Giants for vitamin E. So um, they're very happy campers. So it's kind of funny. Belle gets done with her food a lot faster. She'll eat anytime she can eat. Cinder's a picky eater. She'll eat all of her wet food, so all of this will be gone. But in the mornings when we give them both dry food, and once again we use Gentle Giants, um, uh, she's, she won't eat a whole bowl or even a cup. She'll eat everything. <laughs> so we gotta keep her from stealing when, uh, Cinder's food, so anyway, we love them, and we uh, we try to give them good food, and uh, keep them healthy. So yeah, that's what we do for the pups. All right, so Sherry's got her new cultivator. We've never used one before. We don't even know if we have electricity in this in this line. <laughs> so fire it up, see what happens. If this is right-handed. Hey, good move. Oh, does work. Yeah, but I don't know if that hurt. We held in all the time. Yeah, as soon as you let go of the handle, you gotta push that in every time. Yeah. Which is very difficult when you're left handed. So, probably the best thing to do is leave it up in the air once it's hot. So, the drawback to this is if you're left-handed, it's in. incredibly hard to push the little side safety button. And so, uh, she's got to figure out a way to run this thing being left-handed. And uh, it's just kind of unfortunate. So after using the cultivator a little bit here in this long grass, it uh, it's definitely not designed to handle heavy duty grass. So it did, you have to baby it and it will get wrapped around the wheels. Um, I would definitely highly recommend it for your regular gardens. Um, here, it looks like we have to be very patient and not try to take on too much with it. Uh, otherwise we need to get something more heavy duty. But it is churning it up. And we're gonna, uh, Sherry's gonna rake it out and see if it, uh, how it comes out. But uh, it definitely, uh, you have to, t you have to be careful with it. It's not, if you really want to tear up this ground, you got to get something with an engine on it. It has lots of torque. 
But uh, yeah, it's uh. And it's not ideal for left-handed. And yeah, not good for left-handed people. She's struggling, and that's sad. Make it work, but it's not ideal. Yeah, if they put a safety button on it, which I understand this day and age for that, but uh, um, I still think they ought to let us, you, you know, American citizens try to kill ourselves on our own without their help. Anyway, uh, so, so that's kind of our evaluation on it. Um, it's a good tool, but I'm not sure if it's good enough to handle heavy-duty grass like we're trying to get through here. So, um, so we're digging it, but sure he's going to kind of rake up what we just did here and see how it cleans up, which actually looks like it's kind of cleaning up. But it's a lot easier than trying to pull grass out by hand. And that's the that's what we're trying to accomplish. But we may have to get something something even beefier. We'll see, guys. I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, I'm gonna put a link below where you can get this uh, cultivator. Uh, if you're doing heavy duty grass like we're doing here, uh, it's okay. Uh, I don't recommend it. What's that? It's not great, but it's okay. Yeah, it's not great, but it's okay. But I would say when you're doing a chore like this. You need some muscle, something that scares the hell out of you when you're running it. But uh, but I gotta get something small that I can get between plants. Yeah, That's and why we keep. Them. And so yeah, we're trying to find something small to get into these plants closer. So everything else was really beefy, and so uh, we have to kind of. I think we're gonna have to work with this and see how it goes. So if we discover something unusual about it, or um, over time, we'll let you know. But. Once again, if you go down to the description below, I'll put a link to this cultivator. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share our videos, and uh, tell everybody about this great family of ours. Anyway, talk to you later, guys. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.